Oh, my mum will love this. Dear God, my eyes. Bagley! Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. I found a lead that may help us unravel. More about Zero Day and the bombings we ain't shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. All the bodies and that. Oh, fuck. And yet all these months later, it's crawling with security. Suspicious, no? Oh, shit. I didn't think of that. Anyway, what am I looking for, Bags? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble.
what in God's name? This is it. The signal is coming from this spider-bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. The little fellow's taken a walloping. What's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Look at that. Perfect. Two more data relays to go. Not in a coma. to relay and I'll have it. Just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Okay.
CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Kelly? As in Clan Kelly? Does that mean mobsters did the bombings? Rather looks like the Kellys were just the supplier. Too cowardly to do the real dirty work. That woman they were meeting didn't seem like the gangster type either. Could she have been a part of Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, who was controlling this spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Good God! So the bloody police were watching this whole time? The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Oh, brilliant. I'll just pop over in a quantum tunnel, shall I? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good call, sweetie. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Okay. RDX Nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero days signature. There, hurry. We've got order delivery. So you were hired to acquire all the targets? Duck it. We're all on need for no. So Zero Day was using multiple groups to pull off the bombings. This just gets more tangled. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more.
tracing the Spinobot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. So the police were investigating a different suspect other than DedSec, but kept it quiet from the public? Oh, very professional. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Well, Albion certainly made themselves at home. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. I was never much of a fan of the Met, but I can't say I was itching to see them replaced with war criminals either. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. not to die, shall we?
Well, is this it? Our spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Good. Be a dear and work out who last used it. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. On it. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. system from Parliament. If the Met or Albion rather actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. your way through this last bent path. to the upload. Got it. 
Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spider-Bot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. We're this far down the breadcrumb trail, we might as well keep following it. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Good place to hold the world's least pleasant dinner party. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Bagley, find me an entrance. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Charming. There's some kind of secret police bunker down here, like a, uh, uh, what's the opposite of a serial killer's basement? Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. But what were they working on that led them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former Inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I?
Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Oh, good. Alpine is working with Clan Kelly. For a second there, I was worried they couldn't possibly get any worse. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. But we can't very well allow people to be snatched off the streets. We have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. <laughs> 